Hi and welcome again to Do I Like It? The series of videos where I record me trying a tool so you don't have to do it. So today we're gonna look at a tool called CMS Map. It's an open source CMS scanner. Uh, I haven't heard about it before and it seems like there's a lot of you know options you can do and I just booted up a room here on Try Hack Me, which is a Joomla CMS. So I'm going to use that for my, you know, uh, testing purposes. But let's go ahead and just dive right in and see how we install this. So we're going to, first of all, uh, clone this GitHub repository. So as we usually do, we paste it in, take the link, go to the browser, not the browser, terminal. And we clone it. So that's the first step. Next step is going to the CMS map. I don't know why, but let's just wrong tab. Go into CMS map and CMS map. We can nano into CMS map conf. And I need to spell it correctly. All right, so it would seem that here we can supply stuff like the user agent and we're gonna use this kind of word list and we're gonna use these kind of, you know, files for checking common files and extensions and so on. And there are different um, files that can be used for different CMS systems of so WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, Moodle, and so on. So they refer to the path called data, which is a uh, folder right there. You can see data, so I'm gonna access it. And inside of this, we see all the different kind of files that refer to. So I am really happy with that. Let me clear the screen one time. So what we're really gonna do now is basically go one back. And I guess we're gonna run, this is a Python 2, Python 3 script. Python 3. So let's go ahead and do Python 3 CMS map dot pi and no options provided. Run dash h for help. And now we get this beautiful help menu that we also saw in the beginning here on the same page. So it would seem this is really good chance this can be a really good script for scanning CMS systems. It also seems it's very customizable uh, because it, it uh, let me just see one more time. So if we go back to CMS map and we go into data folder and then we go into nano common files, for example, we can just add stuff to the common files or uh, let me see WordPress plugins. We can just add in plugins, but it seems like there are plenty here. So yeah. And it would seem that my terminal just crashed, so I need to reboot it for some weird reason. It happens sometimes. Let's do Python 3 CMS map, and now we're going to try and run this on this virtual machine I'm running right here on this particular IP address. So let me see what were the options one more time. So it is the target first so let's go ahead and just put in the target there we go that's the target and then dash f uh, small f which is interesting it says false false which is I'm not really sure to be honest we, we could try and, and run a help on it but it wants to write, write this uh, F for force. And let's see uh, the next command were the J, I guess. Does it mean that it means Joomla? I don't need to write Joomla. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. F for the target. W WordPress Joomla do D. 
Moodle, the the web. Oh yeah, it says like Drupal. So yeah, that's the way. Okay, so that's the way we choose it. So basically, we go ahead and write capitalized J for Joomla, and then we do F for full scan. All right, so basically, just gonna write F. So let's press Enter and see what this does to us. Would you like to update? Yes, I would like to update it. If not. Permission denied. Oh, yeah, I'm running as root. Yeah, let me just interrupt. Typically, this is something we probably need to do. So let me run as root. And yes, and there we go. So now we are updating the CMS map, which is really good. So, and it updates everything, it seems. Yeah, it's counting megabytes here and which is really good. Yep. All right. Yep. And I already I'm I'm having a really good experience with this. So I I think just for the 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 easy the easy installation, you know, and the Easy usage and auto updating itself on request. Not even request. Just does it. Like, would you like to update? Yes or no? Don't you? You don't even have to run the update. I I, I never really like that because I forget it. I, do you forget that too? I forget it all the time. Running update commands like oh. I, <laughs> but if, if it does it for me, I just press yes and like yeah. Why not? But I don't like it doing automatically. I would like to make the decision myself. Um, <clears throat> not found. Okay, so that's something not found. But yeah, so I'm gonna pause the video and try and get back to it as soon as it starts scanning. Okay, so now I got some error here on Python. It said. Yeah, it seems like that the function here is not working as intended. I could go in and edit it, but I just think I'm going to redo the same command. And this is <laughs> this is why it doesn't work. So let's let me just see one more time. Python 3 CMS map. I am running Python 3. So the thing is that there is a command called get hostname the argument must be a string and it is not a string so the thing is i think the problem here is that i i provided this as an ip address maybe we could do http in the front maybe that will fix the problem and it did so yeah you know <sighs> Convenient stuff, you know. I I I, I forgive it. <laughs> so we're running on uh, five threads, and the target is mentioned. And yeah, let's see what happens now. So it's running, and we are getting some results back here. It is divided into. I guess M is for medium. Uh, L is low and I is not interested at all maybe but it does say something would you like to list them all you must likely have a large number of default files I was like no I'm not interested in default files so so I'm just interested in the most common things that could be found on a Joomla installation uh, let me see one more time. What did we find more? So we, we we're actually getting the information of the server, the version of the PHP. It's not running HTTPS. It is powered by Xframe not enforced, script transport, robots not. It is found, so we can basically go and say, I'm gonna copy this selection and go to the browser and basically have a look at the robots.txt file and see a lot of interesting files here, which is a really good thing because I tend to forget to look at the file. And now we are getting a lot of errors. Oof. Hmm. Yeah. 
No, I I think I think the problem with these tools is that they probably work in some occasions, but I think I think the tools tested on these websites. Now I I found this tool here. This is from let me see 2018. So there's a slight chance that the the interpreter is not aligned with the modules. Maybe some code is not there well enough. But that should be maintained, or they should versionize it, or create some piece in the code that says, okay, so if you have this version of Python, I will use that method instead of function instead. But you know that is probably also too much to to ask for. So already we got. You got some okay informations, but so far uh, we did get some interesting locations, it's cash and temp, but yeah. There is also a scan called Joomla scan, I think it's called Joomla scan. Let me just, you know, boot up in the window here. So if you say abt get install, say Joomla scan or Joom, Joom scan, yeah. There's something called Joom scan, and I would say in, in that's probably a, a better case to use compared to this tool. And I'm not surprised that it does give me these kind of errors. And what does it basically say? It's about the threading, the pi file, and boost up in a run, and it says UL cannot contain control characters, so it's it's trying things but it seems like maybe there's some encoding issues I don't know I must be honest I, I'm not really sure I'm I think this is a really good tool if you can get it to work I had my hopes up but yeah I'm not really sure you know I, I'm seeing stuff here at the moment you know spaghetti is an interesting tool we could look at that you know what is it um an open source web application security scan. I know that's so interesting. So some of the features is fingerprinting, discovery, disclosure, attacks. Yeah. It could be interesting, but yeah, I gotta choose something. So let's just go back to the tool we were looking at. It seems like it's stopped. I don't know, no. It is stuck on 76%. Not really sure why it's doing it, but I'm gonna pause the video for a tad of minutes and see if it progresses or not. And then if it doesn't, I'm just gonna end it here and give my opinion about this tool. All right, so I've waited a bit of time and it seems like there's nothing going on here. It is dead in the go. In pause, we wanna quit. Yes, I do. So I think this tool, is um, it's okay, but you know all these errors. You know something needs to be done about it. So I definitely think it's really good idea to research on on how how can this you know get better. So I I'm just thinking why why do people make these videos? You know, sorry, not videos. But why do people make these um, these articles here about? CMS scanners when and software and I'm just saying maybe it is unregulated this, this space but this is why I'm testing it for you so you don't have to so I really hope you like this video and even though that didn't really work that much you know we still tested something and we learned something so until next time just gonna say have a good day see you again